And it's it's the exact same thing as I talked about with the women. We only had two races outdoor uh, in cross country as well last year. And with COVID, the, we weren't able to race in the fall. I know the men are anxiously excited to get out and run traditional cross country. Um, we're really looking forward to the course down in Attleboro, which would, the Providence Invitational is being held on. We've been we've been told that that's a fantastic course, traditional cross country course. And then we're looking forward to the rest of the season, certainly coming back home on the 18th of September and running at UNH and hosting the Americas Championship on October 29th. We feel that we have a really interesting group of uh, young athletes, uh, athletes who've been at UNH, and we have some transfers that I think will help the program as well. We're looking forward to running the best that we can possibly run and having a competitive seven out there when when we get to the championship season. Yeah, as I just said, we're trying to form a competitive team atmosphere. I think we've gone through this process before and that we've built the program up. And it, it, these are some of the most important years of the program to really develop that, that training and that culture of excellence that uh, is needed to be a championship program. So I'm really looking forward to, to, I think these young men are up to that task. And I think they're excited about cross country running and running in general. Uh, certainly Aiden O'Hearn is a returner and had a lot of success on the track last year. Um, we really feel that he'll be able to step into uh, cross country as well. And then we have um, a couple transfers and a young talented group of athletes that we're, we're building into a team.